You can inject in two different areas. You can do intramuscular, which is into the muscle, or subcutaneous, which is just under the skin. And both work really well. However, based on previous studies, intramuscular formulations tend to be favored as these achieve higher peak testosterone levels, faster time to peak levels, and a shorter half-life, kind of go away in 173 hours when compared to the subcutaneous testosterone injections. So I don't think it's bad to do the subcutaneous injections. It's better to do the intramuscular. It may hurt more though. And I think that's where a lot of guys fall off from testosterone replacement is they, those injections can be rough to continue and to do. It's not natural to stick a needle into your body, especially into a muscle. And doing that on a weekly basis can be challenging for some. And we have options if that's an issue.